I got a lot of lessons left to learn, but I'm not even close. But through my inhibition, I've become quite sure that I love you the most. That this could be the easiest thing if I'd let it. But I'm too afraid of losing it all. Cause if I leave everything on my ah, table, oh my then gosh. you might break my heart. Evan, since the day I met you, I thought you were the cutest boy with a smile that lights up the room. I quickly learned that you were also incredibly smart, hardworking, kind funny, and the most loyal guy I'd ever met. I vowed to treat our marriage like a marathon. <laughs> to put in effort and train every single day to make our marriage strong. Even if not all days will be perfect, I remember that tomorrow is a new day to start fresh. I vow to let you have time to recover and enjoy off days, knowing that this can be as critical as the work we put in every day. To listen to you as I would a coach and recognize, though it may not always be what I want to hear, that you have my best intentions at heart. This will be the easiest thing if I let it. And I can't be too afraid to fall. So I'm even there. Love you. The good news is we've already put in our fair share of base mileage and I know the best years are yet to come. Thank you for making me the luckiest girl in the world. Zoe, ever since I met you I knew that we would be together for a lifetime. Your natural beauty, energy have captivated my mind, body, and soul. I'm truly infatuated with every bit of you and know that we make the best partners. I promise to love you with my full heart, honor our marriage and our faith in each other, treat you with care, gentleness, and mutual respect, create a home and a family that represent our shared beliefs and ideals, honor our commitments to the family and friends that have joined us here today, always find a way to laugh and take time out of our busy lives to reflect on what we're building together. Zoe, thank you for making me the man I am before you today. Thank you for welcoming me into your family and for being so welcoming of mine. I love you. And in the end, when I think I've seen it all in this world and when the road, road seems winding in forever, I'll always think about your lightning blue eyes reflecting sunrise and the promise of a new day together and knowing that home is wherever I am with you. By the power that is vested in me, by Jewish tradition, and by the state of Colorado, it is my great honor to pronounce you, Evan and Zoe, husband and wife. Do we both stop nope, you go. Yeah. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah! Can you talk by candle like them? Take it slow and make it last. Can you talk by candle like them? Take it slow and make it last. The best things fly by you so fast. You make love in you. It all makes loving you easy. Look back at it, I 
Great talk. Look, I love both of you guys. You're amazing. I've already said amazing too many times, but it's true. And I uh, just couldn't be happier that we're finally here now. now but let's all uh, raise a glass, please, and wish uh, Evan and Zoe all the best. And I hope you always remember we're all here for you. You can't appear this mountain town I, I first of all wanted to say how happy and grateful I am that Zoe has found Evan. Um, couldn't really picture who Evan would end up with, and, and I think it's a perfect match. Very happy that, uh, again, Zoe and Evan are together. Cheers. I can't really offer much that you don't already know. But please remember, while surrounded by this beauty, this love, this simple, glorious grandeur, today is ultimately about the union of two people. Together you become one. Together you will lift each other up. And whether the good, the bad, the sad, and the happy. My daughter, you are married. And my three minutes and 640 words are over. <laughs> now, let's please raise our glasses, which I don't have, to Zoe and Evan, Evan and Zoe. It's often said that love makes the world go around. I believe it's love that makes the ride worthwhile. L'chaim. <laughs> 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 Amen. But if, if love is a marathon, like you guys said, I have to imagine this is the start. You know, you have everyone around you before you can shoot out and win the race. And it's been a little hectic, uh, but it's been very enjoyable and I'm very happy to spend time with my brother and my sister for the first time in a really long time. And uh, I'm just really happy for you guys. I wish you all the best.